and good morning CTS 110 section 840 students for the spring 2016 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. This is the Networking Plus course from CompTIA and so this video tutorial this morning uh, I had a couple of students contact me uh, last night regarding the browser not functioning when they're using Safari on their Mac and so I wanted to walk through uh, one possible solution uh, and that is turning off uh, the pop-up blocker. I'm going to show you how to do that, but first I want to show you uh, what happens uh, when you get the error that it, or not, I shouldn't say the error, but where it just kind of sits there and it doesn't open up the uh, the window that you need for the simulator. So let's go ahead and get logged in to test out here. And we'll take a look at the supported browser list as well. So Let's go to products. Now you may see uh, fewer products than I'm seeing here, but we're looking for Test Out Network Pro. Uh, if we look here, you can see the supported browsers. You've got IE 10 or greater, uh, Chrome 31 or greater, and Safari 8 or greater. Now not supported is Firefox. So please do not use Firefox uh, as your browser. I would recommend either Chrome or Safari. And so when we click on the Test Out Network Pro, uh, it's going to bring us to the lab simulation that we were last looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start Lab. And this is typically what happens. You see, you get this window. It says, waiting for the simulation to load. It'll open in another tab or a window. And then you will see this error message here. And what will happen is it will simply sit here, and it won't work. Um, and so this is how you, or this is one way to resolve this issue uh, to get past the screen so that you can get into the simulation where it will function for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop waiting for the simulation window to open because uh, right now it, it's never going to open. It's just going to sit here. So I'll click stop open um, and let's go ahead. I'll close the tab. I don't believe you need, you might not have to close the tab out, but I'll close the tab out. And let's come up here to Safari. So what version am I running? I'm running version 903. So I'm running version 903 of Safari. So I definitely meet the requirement. However, the behavior I just saw in the browser is indicative of an issue. And you may be thinking, well, maybe it's the version of Safari I'm running that it's not working. Uh, but that's not the case. And so if you come up to Safari, and you go to Preferences, you'll notice under the Security tab, we have Block Pop-Up Windows. So I'm going to uncheck Block Pop-Up Windows. And then we'll close this down. So I'm still here at the Test Out site. Let me go ahead and refresh. And I'm going to click Login. It's going to bring me to the Login page again. I'll type in T-B-O-N-F-I-G-L-I. Let's type our username and password in and get logged back in. Uh, we'll come up here to products. Again, we're interested, oops, sorry, we're interested in test out, <clears throat> excuse me, test out network pro. So now we come back. Now the only thing we've done is under the preferences tab, under the security option, we have unchecked block pop-up window. So actually let me create some space here. And so that is all we've done. Now let's see if we end up with a different result here when I click Start Lab. So in fact, you can see that what should happen is you should get a simulation viewer uh, that opens up instantaneously, right? So I mean, it should open up pretty quick. Uh, and again, you saw what happens when you have the pop-up blocker on is that it's not going to let you do that. And so now we're actually in the simulation. So if I were to click on hardware, you can see we have uh, the PC here. Uh, if I were to, whoops, sorry, I didn't want to get rid of that. If I were to uh, go ahead and click on cables, you can see we've got the DVID to DVID uh, for the monitor, input devices, our mouse and our keyboard, and then we've got our monitor. So again, uh, this is working. It's doing exactly uh, what we anticipated that it would do. And again, you can come over to Office 2, 
you see the same thing I should say over here to uh, the networking closet is going to show us a networking rack and there it is it took it a second to load but it does load all right so hopefully this is going to solve your issue with Safari so first make sure you're at version 8 or later I'm running version 903 uh, then go to your preferences tab uh, or your preferences uh, menu option here at the top so Safari preferences and then simply uncheck block pop-up windows and hopefully this is going to solve the issue for you all right uh, I hope uh, that you guys are off to a good start in the semester. Thank you for watching, and again, hopefully this solves your issue. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Have a great week.